century. Dr. Johansson has led field explorations in Ethiopia, Tanzania, and the Middle East. He's hosted his own Emmy-nominated TV series. He has co-authored nine books, all driven by his conviction that in order to understand ourselves, we humans must continue to explore our evolutionary roots. The Explorers Club is proud to present the 2010 Explorers Club Medal to Dr. Donald Johansson. Hagar, Ethiopia is a place of pilgrimage for those of us who study human origins. It's located in the northern Afar region of the country and can be inhospitable at times when temperatures reach 125 degrees. My first trip to Hadar in 1972 was a short exploratory trip, but I was there long enough to realize it was a place I was going to do field work. Hadar had the right kind of geology and was very, very rich in animal fossils dating to about three million years. And I thought to myself, if we could find hominid fossils in deposits this old, we might just open up a new chapter in human evolution. I remember very clearly it was about noon, and I had been surveying since just after breakfast. The temperature was approaching 110 degrees, and I hadn't found much except a few teeth of a horse, part of the skull of an extinct pig, some antelope ballers, and a bit of a monkey jaw. But as I turned to leave, a fossil caught my eye, and I kneeled down for a closer look. It was, in fact, part of an elbow. As I looked further, I saw another bone, and then another. It was truly unbelievable. What I had found was a partial skeleton eroding from the ancient Hadar sediments. I knew immediately it was a hominid, a very old one, and astonishingly complete. That night in camp, we examined the fossils, and in the background, the Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, played over and over on a small tape recorder. Because of the petite stature of the skeleton, I suspected right from the start that it was a female. At some point during the evening, the new fossil picked up the nickname Lucy, and she's been known as Lucy ever since. We dubbed her and the other Hadar fossils a new species, Australopithecus afarensis. Australopithecus means southern ape, and afarensis celebrates the Afar people in the region where Lucy was discovered. In terms of her relationship to other hominid species, we suggested that afarensis was the last common ancestor to all later branches of human evolution. Although today more complete skeletons and older fossils have been found, Lucy remains the benchmark by which all other human ancestor fossil discoveries are judged. She was the ape that stood up, and as it turned out, the woman who shook up man's family tree all rolled into one spectacular find. <laughs>